What is going on guys and welcome back to another video. Today we're taking a look at the Silverback TAC-41 L Sport Sniper Rifle. So if you guys have been playing airsoft for a long time, you've probably seen your fair share of snipers on the field. And one thing a lot of people will tell you about sniping is it is a very expensive style of gameplay. Along from the guns, the ghillie suits, and everything in between, the rifle is probably the most important thing to have. Now, Silverback is known in the industry for some very high-performing sniper rifles that come with a very high-performing price tag. Now, Silverback approached this a little bit different with the L Sport and has introduced a sniper with very, very high performance at a very, very affordable price. This gun retails for just about $200. And for anybody who wants to get into sniping or wants to add a different replica to their collection, this gun might be perfect for you. Anybody getting into sniping is probably going to want to hear the specifications about the internals. The Silverback L Sport features a T6 aluminum anodized bolt and features an adjustable trigger with a sturdy stainless steel trigger group. It also has a very easy to maintain internal cylinder so you can make sure your gun stays clean and functioning properly. Speaking of the cylinder, it also has a very large volume of air at 41 cc's, similar to the famed Silverback SRS. So you're getting a very similar performing rifle for a significantly lower cost. You also have a top down center hop up in this rifle. It gives you 50 clicks of adjustment so you can precisely dial in your hop up with shooting different weights of BBs. This is very important for a sniper rifle as you want those very consistent shots one after the other. Then moving a little bit further up front, you have a 24 millimeter threaded barrel. So you can attach a lot of different silver back suppressors already on the market. So if you wanted a little bit longer to add a longer barrel or bring the noise down coming out of the end of your muzzle, you do have the option to do so. This gun is also extremely lightweight given it's almost fully polymer construction. Now, just because it's made of polymer does not mean this rifle is not solid. You have a Picatinny rail up top and M-lock sections on the sides and the bottom of the handguard. So if you do want to attach different things to this rifle, there is no lacking of space for your attachments. Now, if you already think that this replica is lightweight, it, it doesn't stop there. You can actually take the stock completely off of the back of the rifle. And if you are into some CQB sniping, this gun is short, lightweight, and you can remove the stock completely. So if that's what you're into, this thing also falls into that category as well on the airsoft field. Probably wondering what this replica shoots. So let's head over and watch the chrono video and take a look. And last but not least, this gun does feature a 48 round magazine, which is a very impressive capacity for a sniper rifle with a 20 BB feed ramp that loads the BBs from the magazine into the hop up. Now that does transition to the one con that I do have with this replica, which is when the magazine is out of BBs and there's no tension pushing up into this feed tube, the BBs can free float inside of the replica. And personally, that's kind of annoying for some users, but overall, as long as you're inserting a fresh mag after it, you'll be okay. But if you're completely out in your magazines, you'll have 20 loose BBs floating around inside of the gun. Now let's take a look at some of the gameplay with the L Sport. And we are not outside, we are inside of the Amped Airsoft Arena for some CQB sniper gameplay. Hey. Hey.
got it here, you got it here. One more in the corner, one more in the corner. Close corner? Yep, right there. Just shut the door on him. Good shot, good shot! Hit. Yeah. <laughs> So I hope you guys really enjoyed the video of the Silverback L Sport. This is a very, very cool rifle to be coming to the market and allows a lot of people to get into sniping or give it a try without breaking the bank. What do you guys think of the Silverback? Do you think this is a viable option for someone getting into sniping? If you're an experienced sniper, let us know your thoughts and what you think that this gun could be improved on or what they should sustain. We like seeing new stuff, but we like hearing your feedback even more. So thank you guys so much for watching and we will catch you in the next one.